I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we have been following our series slowly but surely, one of the hardest things one can undertake is to change the thinking or to change the theological thinking of the people. The theological thinking of the people goes deeper than any, anything else. You can't expect to talk for one hour or two or one week and, and you think you have changed it. These early preachers all of people like Matthew, for example, as they were being pursuing, Matthew is writing his, his gospel to the Jews. And he wants to convert Jews to Christianity. But Jesus' is coming who could not fully fit in all the Jewish theology as it taught it at that particular time. I wish God rectified the, 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 these issues earlier with the, the, the prophets, but he did not. Judaism took a, a different note of all together. The issue was not the, the Messiah. The issue was what type of a Messiah. And so the, the early church it is going to grapple with this issue very much. When Jesus came, for example, as we have already covered, he was of a virgin birth, but the authors tried to connect with the Jewish system, you see, so that they don't isolate the Jewish system, contradicting themselves not with standing. But that, that, that is the way the, the, the situation is always with us. When we are, we are dealing with the theological issues which, are have be, which, which have dug themselves to deep in our minds and they cannot be broken. Gee, Jesus comes actually and whatever he, he was doing, he, see, he, he sounded a, a heretic. For example, the question is simple. Was really Jesus a descendant of, of David? Even himself, even himself in Mark 12, he, he raises this particular question that if David referred to him as a master or Lord, how come uh, the son of man can be his descendant? You see, if David said so, there's no way he can be a, a descendant. But yet, we have it in Matthew that way, fighting, trying to win the people who raised a lot of questions, and uh, those question, questions could not be able to be handled. Thanks for Yahweh, to have raised a man like Apostle Paul. Because it is Apostle Paul who is going to steer the whole issue. Uh, and he will call that other elements, uh, non-entities. He is going to steer the whole issue into a spiritual ground. Saying, so what? He, even if he is the descendant, but he is not a political messiah. He did, he did not come to fight Romans. He came to save people from the, their sins. And uh, Paul took that line and uh, he expounded it and he verbalized it so well to a point of making the, the coming of, uh, of uh, our Lord to be in Davidic descendant element to, 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 to be irrelevant. Now, 
Jesus begins his, his work. And uh, he, he, he begins with his work by saying, the kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is at your hand. The kingdom of God is among you. And every Israel, every Israelite, or every Jew, knew and he waited for the kingdom of God. That one day, it will be done on us. And as I have been emphasizing to you people, their, their glasses of the kingdom of God was a political one. Anything less than political, they were not prepared for it. You see? And that one was a very big challenge. But now, the, 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 I'll talk about that one at, uh, at uh, the end, after I have paved it that way to have uh, understood why when Jesus came, he did not fit at all in, in the theological structure. Let us be thankful that we were not born at that particular time. Because had we been born at that particular time and indoctrinated with this kind of ideology, it would have been very hard to, to change. Now, since God is our creator and he knows our brains very well, he's the one who created it, he, he will always ask his father, forgive them because they, they don't know what they are actually doing and they are, they are confused. And he, he meant it very well. You see, it, he was not threatening for anything. And uh, Apostle Paul, without him, it would be very difficult to, to know at the earliest times what actually Jesus came to do. It is only Apostle Paul who will, let alone, uh, after some time, verbalize what Jesus came to do and why he, he, why he is not a, a political messiah. You see? Now, all of you can ask, if Jesus is a master teacher, why didn't he teach these people like Peter and John who are his disciples? Why didn't he teach them very well who he was and who, what he had come to do? He didn't do that. He tried his best. But they could not get out, get out of their minds to get where the minds had been locked up and stuck completely in, in the theological maya of, the, of those days of greatness, of political greatness and, and ruling. And all our survey has been pointing to that element. Now we know where it came from. Now we, we know why it, it, the work of Jesus' coming was very difficult and it, he, he, and it was doubly hard for Jesus, especially uh, um, among the elites who were educated in those days. Because they were educated in this very teaching of the kingdom of this earth and the kingdom of this very earth will be the glasses every Jew will put on without faith that's why the caption we started with says amazing faith a few of those people as we will, will, will find out who believed they had a tremendous faith and, uh, and I'll, I'll continue on that, on that one uh, in a few minutes uh, to come and I'll show you 
why the caption was called Amazing Faith. But God is very patient with us. Christianity starts on a very difficult note. The note is very difficult indeed. And I always wonder. Um, I don't know. I don't have too many questions when I go to heaven. I will not ask him, God, how did you make this? How come these stars are hanging in this space? I will ask him something which he will allow me to ask. Why did you do things the way you did them on, on, on earth? Anything to do with your salvation? It has never been easy. Why did you come and you, you paid a very high price for that? Why didn't you make it easy for, for yourself? While it is true that I have some inkling on some of those questions, but the inkling alone, it isn't enough. It, it needs a further explanation and so that we may all of us under, un, 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 understand what was precisely behind all that. God is, uh, he, he is good. God has been so kind to us. It, to, to be able to, to bear with us in all of these difficult times so that someday we may fully understand. Without getting the, 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 this background of the, the, this, the, the, the thing, it was becoming very difficult and hard to really follow Christianity. Why did the Jews reject it? Apostle Paul, who, who was a theologian himself, and uh, understood and and that's why he said i have pity i have pity for my people maybe someday they will be saved they may be saved they have not shunned christianity because of their own choice they have shunned christianity because of their own teaching because of their own theology. Matthew will grapple with this issue too, as I have already pointed out. And he will contradict himself, virgin birth, uh, Joseph, uh, genealogies. Once we uphold virgin birth, we don't need any genealogies. Those genealogies can uh, uh, as well disappear. You see, I don't even read them myself because I know why they were, they were intended uh, to, uh, to be face saving, especially on the part of the, 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 the Jews. That's why you have all of those begat, begat, begat. Either I go with the begat. Or, and I abandon virgin birth, or I go with virgin birth and I abandon these genealogies. I know many of you who will be listening to, to me, you will, you, will be, you will be shocked and taken aback. Simply because you have been properly told that uh, the revelation of God in the Bible cannot have anything of that type on nature. It is perfect that the, 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 the Holy Spirit has perfected it. But you have to, to know how, uh, the, how God works in his, when he deals with the, the people he has chosen to represent him, uh, to do the, the work. God has stubbornly said he will use you with all your shortcomings. And those shortcomings, he does not erase them. They are kept there. But learning 
and educating us slowly and carefully continues. Let us be open to the teaching of God. Let us endeavor to understand the pre-understanding of the Bible as one of the most the, the context, the historical context of the content of the Bible. If we understand that, then our faith will even be stronger and our, our faith will be able to even capture others who are further away from us and they will, they will come closer and they will enter. Now, having cleared all of those problems, we will know so well and we now appreciate Jesus' work amongst the hostility, among the hostility of, of his hearers. Some people were very hostile. Some people did not want even to listen to what he is saying because he has not met the standard. Here you are. How can a, a fighter for Israel first of all, be born in a manger, you see, in a parking lot. Because uh, at that time, what we do call as a, a manger, it, it was the, the, where the animals were kept. Those animals were kept there because they were means of transport, you see. And that when you, when you booked in a, in a hotel, anywhere in those days, in that land of an antiquity, rich people came with chariots or horses. Other poor people came with the donkeys, you see. Yes, uh, like Joseph, for example. The very uh, father, uh, who, who would be the, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. But since, since he was a poor man, and an entity, no hotel gave him a room to stay. Now that was all that was uh, uh, contending and contradicting the Jewish views and understanding of what a Messiah must be. You can't have a Messiah born in such a poor, country, a, a poor home in those days. And then you expect him to be a, a, a messiah. As I have told you be, be, before, Ale, when we, we began this um, amazing uh, series, I told you that the richer you were, you were in those days, the more people respected you to be clean, holy, and you are in the the books with the God. And since uh, Jesus is going to, to, to be born in a very poor home, so poor, actually the, almost the poorest, that raised a lot of question mark about, about him be, being a messiah. Why? I told you that already, that uh, Poverty is a sign of a curse of God. And uh, a home that poor cannot be the forebearers of uh, the political messiah. A messiah must come from a powerful home whereby God has allowed them has showered them with all dignity and blessings and uh, everybody when they will know the family where you do come from and they can attach it to, to be a descendant of Joseph, uh, I mean of David, then you will definitely begin to, to talk something about that. Let us always be understanding in, in, in whatever we do and in whatever we do read. 
Let us search, totally surrender in faith, but open our ears for more information because God is still publishing. Don't be like that Harvard professor who, who says people are, fl- 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 are fleeing from churches because God has not pub- published for the past 2,000 years. That Harvard professor was not being sensitive to God's publication. God is always publishing. It is in his laboratory working and publishing new, new information and new learning concerning his salvation. Don't get stuck in what you, you thought you knew before. Feed your brains some more because God loves us when our brains are properly fed. God, this world is his and this is his laboratory and he can always open he can he can always give us new experiments he, he can help us to see new interpretations and we are ready to interpret him in the best way possible let us pray father you have been very good to us you have carried us through some of these series. Let this series, series be understood by the, the, the people so that they can go back to, to the content of that holy book and they can be able to understand precisely where the problem was. Thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen.